Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we are here to do your weekly reading for February 26th through March 4th. Generally my readings are love readings. We will see what comes up. This is for the sign of Taurus. Great start. Okay, we have the star card. This is a time of renewal, inspiration, healing, uh, hope. All right, maybe uh, you have some uh, renewal going on within you. You may be feeling withdrawn at this time, going through some sort of healing period, perhaps. Trying to make a decision, trying to figure out what the next step is on your journey, on your path. Maybe you are trying to ignore, or you are ignoring the truth of something, perhaps. You know, maybe, I mean, there's a feeling that somebody is is very emotional. Somebody is going through some emotional um, conflicts right now, okay? And they may be feeling like they don't want to accept this truth. Maybe there's been some sort of... Uh, hurt you know that has hurt your heart you've been through some sort of hurt and now you're trying to maybe you're trying to block it out you're trying to block this hurt out which is causing you to feel withdrawn causing you to maybe feel overly emotional at this time The thing is, is you have to let go of something. Perhaps there's some 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 heaviness, some heavy burden that is holding you back. You're carrying something around with you that you don't need to carry, that you don't need to have. There's something that you are holding on to that is unnecessary. But it looks like you're going to release it. It looks to me like you are going to release it. Because I see that you have hope. You have hope that something is going to blossom. Something is going to change. Look at the blossoms. There's blossoms here and there's blossoms here. Something is happening. You are blossoming. Some kind of hurt. Some kind of hurt. Emotional discord is, is bringing you growth. It's bringing you true growth. Even though you may be trying to block it, you're trying to, you're procrastinating in some way. But there's so much beauty here, okay? There's a lot of beauty. I see a lot of, uh, I just want to get some more cards before I keep talking. You know, with the Six of Cups, there's a lot of uh, nostalgia. There's a lot of remembering. There's a lot of um, almost like innocence, okay, about this situation. Whatever's going on, it appears that there's a lot of memories. There's a lot of memory. Whatever has happened has stirred some memories that have caused emotional upset. That you've blocked for so long. I feel like you have been blocking these memories. And now they've come up again. They've come up again. It's time to heal. It's time to heal from these memories. It's time to heal from this past. Heal from the past. Heal these memories that you have been blocking. And now you may be. Now they're at the surface. And I think it's time to release the, these past. Release these past memories that have held you back. Because I see that you're moving forward very quickly. You're moving forward to bring balance back to your life. Perhaps there's a karmic cycle that has is now ended. It's been paid off. This karmic debt has been paid. Perhaps in regards to a relationship that didn't work out. You know, the, the cycle 
needed to end and you've been blocking it. You've been not wanting it to end, but I feel though you can't you can't fight destiny. And and now these memories have resurfaced for you to to work them out, for you to release them so that you can have your ultimate wish fulfillment. Okay, because this is wish fulfillment, but you have to release something first. And right now, I feel like you're going through some emotional and mental conflict, remembering all these times, remembering the happiness, remembering the the innocence or the childhood or or your past love or whatever. There's a lot of memories this month, memories of the past that need to be healed. And I feel like they're on the surface to be healed. And I feel like you're you're at this point where you are, there's no more second chances because this is the judgment card. It's over and you know it. And now you have no choice but to move on. You have no choice but to, to let this come up and to work it out. And so this is what I see so far. So what I see is that this is a time of bringing peace of mind back. Okay, you're bringing some peace in mind back, peace of mind back to your life, removing blockages very quickly that have caused you to be emotional, emotional and caused you to be withdrawn and caused you to hold on. I think that you're no longer holding on. There's no more second chances. There's no more um karma left here the karma's been dealt and and handled and it's over you know i feel as though there's there's no more faking it i can't fake it anymore because this is the fake it till you make it card and this is faking it too but this is reverse so i i can't i can't block this anymore i can't fake it anymore i can't pretend i can't i can't block that this destiny from happening and i feel like now the destiny is to go down a new road and let go of this partnership that didn't work out, okay? Because there's no future there. There's no future and there's no going back. And, and I think that many of you are, re are seriously, the time is now to release the past. And I think you are releasing the past. And you're bringing more harmony back to your life. More peace and harmony. This is peace and this is peace. So I think that that peace is coming back finally after a time of reminiscing after a time of of hurt you know where you you probably felt like you were the victim or you felt like you you couldn't move forward i i don't think that's the case anymore i think now you are have or are removing the blockages you're having hope for the future you're at peace with this loss and now it's time to accept this as truth and move on i mean because I, that's what i see it's like I, I it's over it's over something is over but you're happy about it finally finally i have released these demons that have these demons from the past i have i have released them and now i'm moving on i'm i'm letting go and i'm blossoming into something new okay so I feel as though, I mean, this is the judgment card. It's reversed. There, It's over, and you know it. You know it. You've released the past. You've released it. There's there's no more, um, there's no more need to stay there. It's, it's over, and you realize that. We're going to clarify with this Hanson Roberts deck. I feel as though you went through a period of feeling unloved feeling um, like you couldn't offer love, okay? Feeling like you were the victim in this situation. So, but now you're releasing that feeling. I'm, 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 I'm going to, I'm, because it feels like you were concentrated on the loss. You weren't even noticing that there were other options. But now I feel like you're, you're starting to see, you're starting to see that there are, because if you, I think, I look at this as being you, okay? If you look at the picture and the cards, this is you, wanting to look for, have love elsewhere okay because that's a cup of love so i feel as though now you're starting to have hope that there is love out there i feel as though you're having more self-respect than you've ever had before you're moving forward with confidence um 
right next to that temperance card reversed. I, I'm holding your head up high. I, I'm ready. I'm ready to just move forward with my head held high. I know where I'm going. I'm confident. I have, I have the strength to do this. It's time to receive and you deserve more. And I feel like that's where you're at. I know that I deserve more. It's time for me to get my life back on track and I'm taking the lead in doing this. I'm moving forward to get my life back on track. You're bringing a lot of harmony and peace to your life this month. This is what this is about. I mean, 666, getting your life back on track. It feels as though it's a you have taken the time to reevaluate the past you're releasing the past and you're letting new growth, you're letting new life uh, unfold right in front of you. I mean, I see that you're going through some uh, awakening that is allowing you to move forward with grace and pride. I see a lot of pride here. And it's a good thing. It's good pride. I'm proud of what I've accomplished. I'm proud of, of who I am. Um, and I'm ready. I'm ready to accept love from a different direction. I'm ready to accept the love you have to offer. Whereas I think you probably went for a, from through a period of time where you couldn't even accept love. You couldn't even see it because... You perhaps were feeling like a victim or feeling at a loss or feeling like you weren't worthy. Where now I think the worthiness has come back, Taurus. I'm worthy. I'm worthy. And I see this worthiness big time. I feel like um, you are on this journey to balance and harmony that is serving you very well. You're blossoming very quickly. There, now she's upright. Now you are loving yourself unconditionally, okay? I feel like your emotions are starting to get under check um, or in check. You are becoming very tranquil and beautiful. You've done a lot of healing and your intuition is growing. I mean, this is like a spiritual wake-up call as well. Many of you are waking up to your true desires and letting the past go, letting the this past karmic situation that you've held on to so tightly, that you've stewed over, that you've cried over, that you've that you have blocked the feelings from this this that you have been indecisive about, you're letting it go. I think the time is now where you decide to bring peace and harmony back to your life and just release it. There's a lot of financial aspects here as, t as well. Generally, my readings are love readings, but it appears to me that you may be, fo you may have been, or you are very focused on your finances at this time. Um, you may be feeling like you don't like money's an issue at this time during this month. You may feel like you don't have enough money, or you might not be getting enough money, but it's coming. So relax. Don't worry about it. Money is coming. It's just coming slowly. If you're struggling financially, um, don't worry about it because you it is going to come. You have the skills. You have the... It's there. It's coming. It's coming. Okay? You are the... You are the... Um, stable. Secure. person that never fails okay so the money's coming and don't worry about it don't worry about it and I feel like you may be very focused at this time be very very focused on your money be very and you could be feeling kind of and I don't like to say this this is almost like greedy okay there's like a greedy and I know that you won't like this but it's fine I don't care. You may be, fe or maybe you were dealing with somebody who was very greedy. That could certainly be the case. I think that there's somebody here, but this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this person is either you or somebody that's in your life that is only focused on money, only focused on money and sex, everything but love. 
money and sex, everything but love. But it's but it is reversed, so that's why that comes up. It feels as though you're being tested. Do you even want love? Because this is I consider the Knight of Pentacles a test. With this Ten of Pentacles reversed right next to it, it looks like there's been some kind of loss of money. There could have been a family feud. There could have been, you know, somebody that was taking your money or you're auditioning it all out to somebody. There's there's some kind of issue with money here that is causing you despair, okay? Um, I feel as though many of you are turning away from something. You're turning away from... financial perhaps choosing choosing money over love because this is turning away from and this is money this is money and this person once was only focused on money only focused on financial success but it's reversed it's only fine and but that is what it means only fi only focused on financial success but here this is this is love and this is this is the this is love as well. So it looks to me like somebody is turning away from something. They're turning away from perhaps choosing money over love. That could certainly be the case. This ten of pentacles is is it could be a loss of money as well. I mean this there could be a loss of money here in some arena. This is freedom, okay? Somebody is is removing something from their lives. What somebody is removing an obstacle. And maybe it's a family member. And I'm sorry to say this. Maybe there's a family member that is being removed. And I know that people don't want to hear this, but I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing. Because this is this is family oriented. Because they've been costing too much money, you know. I feel. I mean, there's some. There's eight of swords. There's definitely a reevaluation here. That's what it is. It's a reevaluation of money. It's a reevaluation. What's most important to you? There, you guys could be moving home. You could be changing homes. You could be kicking somebody out of your home. You know, there could be a loss of income this month. And I mean, that's that's what I see. There's a reevaluation of the finances because I feel like somebody what you want and what you what you need. I mean, that's what this is. It's like what do I want? What do I need? What what comes first in my life? And it feels as though that's where this contemplation is. Many of you are really really focused on your career. You're focused on your job. You're focused and you have been. You've been focused on your bank account, focused on everything but love. But I think that's where this boredom comes in. It's not serving you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got all this money and I got all this stuff, but there's no love. And I think that this month is a month of of reevaluating what's most important, money or love. And now it's time for you to Use this time of reevaluation and what's come up. It's time for you to blossom. And I think that many of you are considering putting love at the top of the list instead of number two, making love number one. So I think that's what this is. I think that you're letting go of the past. You're letting go of this past relationship that didn't work out. And this could be with a with a coworker, could be with a family member, could be with a partner, a loving a love connection. You're letting go of it. It's gone, it's done, it's over. Goodbye. I'm not looking back. I'm I'm done. I'm over. I'm really seriously not looking back. I am seriously happy about this. Very, very happy. I it's over and I know it's over and I'm ready to offer love. I'm ready to let somebody love me now after this period of concentrating on my work, concentrating on my career, concentrating on my home, concentrating on everything but love. I feel as though now I'm really ready to bring something else, somebody else into my life. After a period of not even wanting love. Okay. Now it's you're making this conscious change. Are you? Are you making a conscious change? That's the question. This is a conscious change. I feel like many of you have, are freeing yourself. 
and bringing balance back to your life and making this conscious change to choose love over finances. And that does take strength, doesn't it? Strength, courage, willpower, confidence, facing your fears, opening up, mastering your emotions, using the force within you. Again, we have pride. Moving forward with pride. So for March, I feel like many of you are finally letting go. I'm letting go. I'm letting go of this hurt, this loss, this partnership that didn't work out. I'm letting it go. And I'm reevaluating my whole life at this time. I'm reevaluating. What's most important anyway? Money or love? Maybe it's just about balancing the two because I see a lot of balance here. Instead of focusing more on one, I'm going to balance these out. I want both. And I feel that this is a month where you actually start to open up and be proud of your accomplishments, where you've been, and where you're going. I see that you're blossoming into a new person. It's a time of healing, inspiration, renewal, and strength. Do I see new love coming in? No. Sorry. I feel as though you're getting close. Very, very close. Very, very, very close. To letting it in. Is you're still reevaluating. Am I ready? Can I balance? You're opening up. I'm opening up to the possibilities. And it's really time to get out there. Play. Beloved one, it's time to set aside work for a while. Don't worry. We will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. Playfulness, gaiety, and laughter will lift your energy so that you'll return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. This is saying that you need to get out there. You need to not put work first. You need to let yourself have fun. And that's where you'll blossom. If you think about March, you think about spring, that's blossoming or growing. It is a time of rebirth. It's time for you to be playful. Get out there. Have fun. Put work aside. Get out there and meet people. Let people in. And that's what I have for marriage. <laughs>